Good morning, guys. We are heading out on the prairie. It is, I don't even know what day it is, doesn't matter, but. 17th November. We are out hunting today. Me and Dad, we both have white tail tags. Mariah and myself were out here opening day, had an epic morning, as you guys probably saw in one of our last videos. Shot my biggest mule deer ever. Mariah shot a stud 4x4 whitetail. I haven't spent a lot of time out here this year, but I do know when we were scouting the day before season and the day we were hunting, I saw a four-point whitetail that has like a eight-inch brow tine on one side that splits and a good one on the other side too. Just a really cool deer. So maybe we'll track him down this morning or something else. We'll see. Should be good. What do you think? I think we're gonna find two big whitetail bucks. I like it. Rutten. Rutten. Let's do it. Well, we've been glassing. We can't quite see the river bottom yet, but glassing this big flat. There's one pretty good buck chasing the crap out of a doe and a bunch of other does out on this flat. So we're just moving right now to get a different vantage point. Then we're gonna go hike into the old glass knob. We are heading out to the glassing knob. See what we can find. Got the spotter on the tripod, so let's go get him. And uh, we've seen a lot of deer, just a lot of solid three-year-old bucks and nothing mature yet. So we're just going to hang out, keep looking, hopefully turn up a big boy.
good shot. <laughs> that sounded solid. Oh, well, I was rock solid on this post right here. Well, when you hit him, it just bumped. I had to zoom so far in because it's, well, it zoomed all the way out on the spotter. So it was on him good, but it I mean, there's no way to get on him going away, you know. So how long ago did we spot him and how long did we sit here and wait him out? We've been here for a couple, few hours probably. <laughs> but he was way over there when we first saw him in the trees and he cut across, he crossed over here. He was almost, he was right by the tree stand. Then he went back. Do, 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 do. Well, the deed is done. I uh, literally just shot that deer from the exact same spot that I shot my mule deer. My mule deer was bedded right down here, about right there white tail is dead right down here so this is probably my favorite spot but we watched that buck come from like a half mile away wander down here at one point he cut over towards we have a tree sand down in here he cut over there he got downwind he kind of winded us didn't like it made a big circle across the river kept coming kept coming finally goes and beds down behind this log and it was only like 200 yards, so I don't have any video of him running off because that was zoomed all the way out on my spotter. But smoked him, he hopped up, ran 60 yards and tipped back over. So, boom, just a nice, heavy four point. Wasn't gonna pass him up. He'll taste good too. Plus he's got good mass. Probably the most mature buck that we've seen today. A lot of young deer. I'm guessing this deer is probably at least a four year old that was never really going to get any bigger. So, yeah, we'll go check him out here in a bit. We're going to keep our eyes peeled and make sure nothing else comes cruising. We just crossed the creek, we're gonna go check him out. It's right over here. Deep down, I've always been a sucker for big four points. So when my dad was like, I don't think I'd shoot him. I'm like, okay, dibs. <laughs> but we're gonna get him cleaned up, get a couple pictures and drag him down across the river to the truck. Yeah, awesome start to the day. Well, just got done gutting him and I'm gonna start dragging him back to the truck. My dad went across the river because I think I left my shooting sticks there the other day when we were gutting my mule deer. And if not, I'm not sure where they're at. So yeah, I'm gonna start dragging and go try to find one for dad. <laughs> <laughs> 